The 2019-2020 season will be my final season as artistic director. When I was performing in the United Kingdom, I experienced the range of dramatic ballet in which the United Kingdom excels. When I came back to Japan, I sensed a lack of willingness to express the dancers' individual emotions and character. The National Ballet have learned the importance to bring their own individuality and emotion to their performance. With the National Ballet dancers becoming more experienced and confident in their acting, we chose to open the season with Romeo and Juliet to showcase our efforts in rising to the challenges of the production. Sir Kenneth Macmillan's Romeo and Juliet is one of the best-loved ballets in the world, but is one that places great emotional and technical demands on the dancers performing the ballet. There are many dancers who want to play the role of Juliet. We decided to perform Romeo and Juliet again because it is a major work with challenges to be overcome, no matter how many times it is performed. Christmas. At Christmas time, I'm sure everyone will want to see the company present the Nutcracker and the Mouse King from Wayne Eagling again. We will stage this technically and artistically demanding piece as entertainment for the whole family and an introduction to ballet. For our New Year ballet, we will be performing Serenade by George Balanchine. It is now recognized as a great 20th century classic. The female dancers take prominence in the ballet. After that, I have chosen two contrasting pas de deux from classical ballets. These are the pas de deux from the third act of Raimonda and the grand pas de deux from Le Corsaire. DGB For the final ballet of the Triple Bill National Ballet, the program will premiere DGV by Christopher Wielden, currently the most exciting choreographer in the ballet world today. Wielden channels the hurtling momentum of Michael Nyman's music in choreography of thrilling propulsion. Manon is another dramatic ballet by Kenneth Macmillan. Where Romeo and Juliet tells the story of true, innocent love, Manon tells of the love between a young student and a courtesan of the upper class. Manon is a dark love story, a tale of love, decadence and passion. Manon presents contrasting dramatic and choreographic challenges for the company. The company will perform Don Quixote in the May holidays. Don Quixote offers many opportunities to showcase the dancer, and I chose the ballet because this is my final year. I wanted to give chances to as many dancers as possible, and the ballet will be performed to offer more casting opportunities than before. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, which was a great success last November, will return to repertoire in June 2020. Beethoven Sonata. Beethoven's Sonata is a piece choreographed by Nakamura Megumi. I love this piece, full of feminine subtlety and nuances. Ms. Nakamura has experience as a dancer and choreographer, so I am very much looking forward to the performances. Dance to the Future is... Some ballet dancers also want to choreograph dance. 
Since choreographers are so few on the ground, I believe Dance to the Future 2020 to be a valuable opportunity for the new National Theatre Tokyo to produce talented choreographers. At the same time as the ballet's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, we are also performing Onodera Shuji's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland in dance. This is one example of a work created based on another work, but giving a completely different perspective. The theatre should be a place where people's hopes and dreams may find form and where they find excitement and joy. At New National Theatre Tokyo, you will be presented with performances of the highest order. I truly hope that each and every one of you will come to visit us at New National Theatre Tokyo. <laughs>